Hello. Welcome to Lori's Day of My Life. This is Lori. Um, this week is Tonic's um, birthday week. And I wasn't really going to do anything. I wasn't thinking about doing anything for their birthday. But then I thought, you know, I should. I should just do something that I've got in there. I don't have nothing that's like exceptionally new or anything like that, but just to show you the quality of their stuff and the type of stuff that you're going to get. When you get tonic stuff, I love their, you know, their drops and all that. You have to excuse me, my voice is, I don't know, going through something today, but so I went through and I found this box and I never opened it, as you can see, because for me to open anything from Tonic, like this, I always have to cut the top off. Um, there was a time I could, but I don't know, just cut the top off. So hopefully this won't take too long. I'm thinking we need two of these. Do we have instructions anywhere? No. No instructions, so I'm going to assume that we need two of these and these are going to be our working dies it must be two I don't think it's going to be a very big box but anyways so I'm going to go ahead and cut two of these out and I'm going to use some of this white paper that I just got so I'm going to pause you while I run that through alright so I got one and I just pulled the second one off I got them both on one sheet of paper just just at so they're not very big I gotta be careful pulling the tape off. Okay. And there's my second one. Alright. Now, we know where our tabs are, right? We're going to fold on our tabs. And these are going to go in, I believe. This paper is pretty thin for this. I don't, I don't know that I would use that again. wonder how the bottom goes. Maybe that way, and then this one, I need to fold it the other way. <laughs> I was folding it the wrong way, but it needs to go this way so that the cuts are all on the good side. Right? And this is going to be kind of in and in. Again, and now we have the two, and they've got to fit together. So what I'm wondering is, so they're going to fit together like that. So there we go. 
So what I'm going to do, let me see. I need to make sure that tab's going to go there, this tab. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How did I have it? Just got to get it put together. That's what I'll do. I'll just leave it put together and I'll put glue on it and we'll glue it together. Whatever it takes. And we'll figure it out. Alright, I didn't have that perfectly lined up. But... And hold that so that it'll glue. Okay. Then I want to do the same thing on this side. But I got to kind of move it a little bit. I'm going to pull this tab up a little bit. Stick some glue on. And there's our sides put together. And they're lopsided, of course. Now look at that, I smudged it with my fingers in the glue. Okay. Uh oh, it's not stuck. There we go. All right. It's a pinch box, so when you pinch it, it's supposed to open up. So now we do this. So I'm going to glue the tabs. fingers in here here just want to make sure I get these tabs glued down make sure they're stuck down good and it correctly, you want them lined up. And that seems pretty good right there, as long as it holds. That should be pretty good. Okay. And for this one. And having the two bottoms will help make it a little more sturdy, I believe. And just line it up and stick it down. And there's our little pinch box. Okay, and then you can put something up here. They've got, in all their pictures, they've got ribbon tied around it. Okay, and now we've got the bow. Now we've got all these layers that we can use 
to decorate it. What I'll go ahead and do, <clears throat> excuse me, is so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to pick out a paper. I'm going to pick out a paper and I'm going to run them all through. Well, I'll run these ones through, not these. And I'll do the tag. And then we'll um we'll just decorate one side. So, I'm going to go ahead and pause you again. And I'll be right back. All right, I got these cut out, and these are the um, intricate ones. And I just used this pink with stripes. I didn't want to use a like a major pattern because that didn't cut out. But I'll tell you what, I'll follow that. And get it out the rest of them looks like the rest of them came out okay that says just for you on it but you can't really see that um, these all cut good Pretty much. There's some pretty small pieces in here. Uh, you know, it's just a matter of weeding them out, but they look like they're all cut. And this one's looking good. So now I want some background for these and I'm doing pink. This is one side of the paper. And I'm going to go ahead and I've got this side. I'm going to do the background and I just figured I would do pink. It's white, pink and white, you know. So I'm going to take all these border things and um do them all in this and hopefully they should look pretty good together I am taking these pieces out because I don't want that to get like embossed into the paper even though with this pattern it may not show it's still just something I don't want to have to deal with so I'm, I'm gonna get these all going and I'm going to put you on pause again while I do that. I think it makes it better for you. To not have to watch it, so. That's what I'm thinking. Um, I need the other one like that. Mm, here it is. All right. Is that all of them? I think it is. Okay. Okay, so... <laughs> Excuse me, I got these all weeded out. And I'm put this die away. I don't want to lose my dies. So that's all weeded out. And I cut these. So I'm trying to put my dies away as soon as they come off so I don't lose them. I like this little box. And these there and there 
and this goes in here. But they never want to stick as good the second time. You can't hardly get them off the first time. And then the second time they don't want to stick as well. Okay. So let me get all my pieces. And let's see, this one didn't cut again. All the rest of them are, and I'm thinking something's up with this die. What I do when I stick these in the machine is I send them forward and then I hit reverse and send it back and that's a lousy job but there is what it is so I was afraid there wouldn't be enough contrast with these colors and that's probably right but if I do this for somebody that likes the color pink then can you see that it looks so pretty but I want to glue these pieces on. I need to make sure you can see what I'm doing. So I just need to go through, glue all these pieces on here. And we're just going to do the one side for now. I can come back and do the other side later. And I think there's plenty of paper that it'll only probably just only take that one sheet. I'm just going to hit the bigger spots. Of course, I got all around the edges, whoops. So I wonder if anybody out there, any of you have bought anything from Tonic's birthday sale. If you go on, I don't know about tomorrow, I don't know exactly what the contest was today or nothing but a lot of times if you just go in and comment they're giving stuff away so but you here it's really early in the morning when they do it is it like five o'clock in the morning when they start but you can comment all day but i don't know how they contact the winner or whatever you have to be watching to win. I don't know. But that'll go right there. Pretty. It's not much contrast. Probably I would have preferred more contrast. But I like the idea of just using the back of the sheet that, you know, the one sheet. It sounded like a good idea to me. I know it coordinates. It's just not much contrast. And like I said, for somebody that likes pink, I think that will be lovely. These two round ones that I cut out, they are different. This one is got like little spokes. And this one is more of the leaf and stuff. So, but I'm going to go ahead and just use them like this because I'm and let's do this one. This one should be easier to get down actually. Well, maybe not. I thought to get the glue on and it's actually going to end up being more of a job to get the glue on. Okay. Okay.
You just gotta make sure you're using them in the right direction. I hate to put the um, pattern on the pattern or something, you know, instead of turning them the right way. I don't want those to line up, but that's easier said than done, I guess. Okay, and then gotta make sure these are turned right. These are the same panels, and they will go like that. So we can stick these on. Well, I don't know what my bird's fussing about, if it's because it got quiet in there or what. He figures if it's quiet, it's his turn to talk. Oh, I didn't make sure that the patterns was going the same way. See what I did? I have it backwards. See, after I just told you to be careful about putting it right, I had it wrong. Here we go. One thing about this pink paper, oh, this pink paper. I didn't show you where it came from, did I? It's the um, Crafters Companions Fairy Garden. So, yeah. Very pretty paper in there. I just grabbed it off the shelf, saw this paper and said, perfect. Here's the background, here's the detail. And this paper has glitter. It's got a, you know, glittery sparkle to it on both sides. So, you know, in the um, roses, there's some sparkling on these lines. There's some glittery sparkle, so. And I'm like, oh, I better make sure I don't still have that on pause. <laughs> okay. And then when I did the detail, I cut this one out and I didn't cut the um, big one. So I'm not going to worry about it. I am going to get pretty. I think it's pretty. It's pretty. And then you just, that opens it. It closes it. Pinch it and push. Pinch it and push. And that opens it. Kind of glad I used that, that um, lesser paper because it's easier to pinch it. So that wasn't a bad thing after all. All right, um, just one moment. I'm gonna put you on pause and I'm gonna go get ribbon. Okay, I hope I got this kind of situated where you can see what I've got. I'm not really seeing a pink that's going to work with this because this think is too bright but I'm thinking is that green gonna work nope might as well do that pink before I do that green there's stuff underneath um, no I guess there's not stuff underneath That's almost a better right there. 
the Baker's Twine Green and then the white match up. So I think that's what we're going to use. And I believe, oh, this is just from the dollar store. So, I'm just going to pinch it. to get it through both sides now there we go okay and I want to make sure I have enough to tie the bow and then I'm looking at how this stuff is fraying let me first tie the bow You could put a lot of stuff in here. You could. I'm looking at how this is fraying and I'm a little bit concerned. I'm concerned that that green and white baker's twine stuff looks like Christmas, but not with pink, right? Okay, what I think I'm going to try, I don't know if it's going to work. I'm just going to put some glue on my finger here. Can you see my finger? Okay. And I'm going to try just rolling it on this. And hopefully that'll hold it. I don't know if it's going to work. It's just something I figured I'd try. And I'm going to go ahead and do this side. Because if the one side unraveled, this side will probably do the same thing. So let's hope that holds it. There's our box. There's our happy birthday to Tonic. Get on over, check out the sales. And they got a memory book. They got the carousel. The carousel. Oh, it's too cute. Um, hopefully they still have some. All right. I love everything tonic so far. I have been a tonic fan, and I still am. All right, everybody. If you like my video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you'll join me again. Bye-bye now.